What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show for episode 90 of our Madden 23 Philadelphia Eagles franchise mode here on the channel. Philadelphia locking up that one seed right there as of right now. Falcons in the two, Washington in seven, the Vikings. A bunch of other teams are rounding it out. Uh, so going up against this one, the Chiefs are going to be our opponent to start this episode off. Two MVP frontrunners every year, Anthony Richardson, Patty Mahomes, these two quarterbacks just go back and forth. They trade touchdowns. You know, they're 50 touchdown guys. They're 5,000 yard throwers. You know, they are just, they're pretty good at the whole quarterback thing. So a marquee quarterback matchup between Mahomes and Richardson. Was, was I just saying that? I think I was literally just saying that. You know, these are battles that quarterbacks live to play in. You know, we got to think Mahomes, Brady, Manning, Brady, you know, Breeze, Brady, Breeze, Manning, all of those great QB matchups. And we're watching one right now. What do we do today? Got to throw four touchdowns against one of the best QBs in the league. Well, offensively, or I guess defensively, stop Mahomes. Stop Mahomes, he's their offense. No, no cap. He's, he's what you got to do. Offensively, come on. Their defense is pretty sus at best. Come on. And they're pretty trash. A pretty trash defense on a good day. You know, really trash on a bad day. But Philadelphia uh, coming into this one looking for to make this a competitive game. You know, making this making this a real fan favorite game. Now it looks like Frank Gore Jr. is going to be out for the week. So James Conner is going to be slotted in that running back two spot right there. So any backup carries, he's going to get it. We're also going to be missing backup left guard Kendrick Green. High ankle sprain right there. I mean, that's not the biggest concern right there. You know, we could switch the right guard over if we need it. Switch a tackle over. Switch a center over. Something like that. Uh, Rodriguez is out the broken finger. And Kool-Aid has a shoulder strain. So, geez. A little banged up right there. Noah Daniels, Ben Pearson looking to fill in for the injured Kool-Aid. Mason Richmond, he gets himself an upgrade here. So, he had himself a good week at practice. Gets up to an 82 overall. Uh, now, coming into this Sunday night prime time matchup here, uh, Philadelphia taking on uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. 3,400 yards, 31 touchdowns, and 11 picks for Richardson. You know, going up against one of the best pass-throwing QBs in the league. You know, since he's come into the league, since his second year, really, he's just been one of the most electric QBs to ever play football. Uh, but out comes the Kansas City Chiefs here in Philadelphia. You know, they did go up against the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl, in which they unfortunately uh, lost to Philadelphia. You know, a Reed Sirianni, you know, Super Bowl matchup. The fans loved it. You know, they did everything they could just to witness it. And it came out victorious for Philadelphia. Now, 37 sacks, 22 picks on the season for this Philly defense. Uh, one of the best defenses in the league. Now, take a look here at the Chiefs. 39 sacks, only 9 picks during this season. So, I mean, not the biggest ball-hawking safeties or ball-hawking corners out there. Uh, but they are getting pressure on that QB, though. You know, Philadelphia, though, you know, they're a make-or-break defensive team. And Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, they have a lot of scheming to do in order to, you know, work around getting, you know, getting it done. Uh, but out comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. 3,400 yards, 30 touchdowns, 9 interceptions uh, for the Chiefs signal caller. Uh, second and 6 now, first drive of the game. Mahomes going to air that one out, and that's going to be a first down reception after a broken tackle. Uh, first and 10 from that 39-yard line. Filled up his defense, gets a sack right there, knocking Mahomes back to the 30. Loss of 9 on the play. Third and 19, come on, Philadelphia. Pressure forces Mahomes out of the pocket, sliding early. And he's down at the 11, uh, 4th and 11, gain of 8 on the ground. After the punt, out comes Philadelphia's offense. Anthony Richardson leading out the Philadelphia offense. 3,400 yards, 31 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. So eerily similar uh, numbers right there to, Anthony, uh, to Patrick Mahomes as Anthony Richardson. Plus, Richardson's got a better running back. Just, just saying. First and 10, first play of the game for Philadelphia. Airing that one out to A.J. Brown. And there you go. You got, you got Devontae throwing in a bit of a block right there, but A.J. Brown taken down at the 45. First and 10 following that big A.J. Brown pass, and that's going to be a sack right there. 
from Yannick Ngakwe right there. First sack of the game for the Chiefs. Third and 21 now, Richardson. Play action pass. Trying to throw that one deep, and that's going to be caught by A.J. Brown in stride. Spitting out of a tackle down at the 14-yard line. Three passes, 79 yards. Second and goal now from that one. That's a handoff to Bijan, and the offensive line does its job. Forcing a hole there for Bijan or Robinson. Philadelphia gets on the board first here. 7 nothing. Two and a half left in this first quarter. There you have Mahomes hitting that slant pass right there for the first down. So there you go, Andy Reid. He's getting the play call, and he's getting them, he's getting them ready to go. Mahomes jump pass right there in second and 10. Stiff arm on Noah Daniels. That running back right there gets the first down because of it. Second and goal from the nine. Philadelphia's defense looking for a sack or something. All they do is allow a touchdown. Tied game here in this in this first quarter. So Philadelphia dropping the ball. Now second quarter, 640 left in this one. Richardson dropping back, airing it out. And that's caught by C.D. Lamb. Lamb down at Philly's 42-yard line. Smelling you later. First and 10 from that 42. There you go. Airing it out over the middle. And Devontae Smith, through contact, holds on to the ball. First and goal from the one now dropping back. Quick slant pass to CD. And CD in the end zone for the touchdown. So up 14-7. Philly regains the lead now. Three minutes left here in this second quarter. That pass underthrown as well. Just hit as he was throwing. Ronnie Harrison picks it off. And takes it back down to the 35-yard line. Chiefs side of the field. So Ronnie Harrison with the pick puts Philly in prime position to go up two scores. They do not go up two scores, but Philadelphia gets the ball coming into the half. And what are they going to do? Throw the ball on them. We need more passing touchdowns, just say. Need more passing touchdowns. That's how it's going to end up. How are we going to stop Mahomes? Stop the pass. Play action to start off this quarter. We're throwing that to an X-Factor Devontae for the first down. He's down at that 40-yard line. Now, first and 10 from that 40 following the pass. Richardson. Kind of get hit right there. Just need another split second for that pass to open up. Third and 15 now. Richardson needs a big play here. Richardson airing that one out. And that one caught in stride by A.J. Brown at the 43 Chiefs side of the field. Now first and 10 following that pass. Hand off to Bijan Robinson. Robinson has room to run. And he walks into the end zone for a very easy touchdown. His second of the game. 21-7 is the score now. Philadelphia in the driver's seat. Pressure to Mahomes forces an errant pass. Leads to a punt. First and 10 from Philly after that punt. Richardson airs that one over the middle of the field to Devontae. And Devontae Smith down at the 30. There you go. Third and two now for Philadelphia's offense. This is prime running back territory. And Bijan does just that. He gets the dirty first down. First and goal from that one-yard line, Philadelphia. Handing it off to Bijan, who slips through two tackles as he picks up the hat trick in this one. There you go. Three-touchdown game for Bijan. Third and six now, Mahomes airs it out for the first down. Now following that from the 42-yard line, Mahomes drops back. Pocket clean, throwing it. Jumped by the linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds. And Edmonds taking this back down to the 34-yard line. Second pick of the game for Patty Mahomes. Second and eight following that pick for Philadelphia. And Bijan Robinson, there you go, bouncing off tackles left and right. He's down just shy of the red zone at the 21-yard line. Third and four from the 15, Richardson dropping back, airing it out over the middle. And CeeDee Lamb has the first down. So first down from the sixth. Now third and goal, Philadelphia throwing it short to Dallas Goddard, who ends up in the end zone. After avoiding a tackle, that would have put him short. So Goddard extends the lead 35-7. And that's the second passing touchdown of the game. Now pass rush, there you go. Gets to Mahomes on 4th and 10. Bad throw leads to Philadelphia killing the clock right there. Andy Reid, outcoached, outclassed, and outmuscled by this Philadelphia team. 35-7 is the final score in this one. Philadelphia... A classy way to end this game, honestly. Philadelphia could have run up the score more against former head coach Andy Reid. They opted not to. They opted to get the ball in the turnover and just run the clock out. 
Make it nice and easy, nice and respectable for Philadelphia. You know, Philadelphia is showing Andy some respect after the you know two decades he spent here in the city of brotherly love. There you go, Richardson leaving the field to all the cheers. 269 and 2 for Richardson right there. Bijan went 135 and 3. A 65 yard stream from CD. 98 from AJ Brown. 82 from Devontae Smith. Mulata and Banks both allowed sacks on the game, which is real unfortunate. Four pancakes from Mulata as well. Five tackles on the team from Jeremiah Trotter. One tackle from loss from Hassan. One sack from Hassan. Yeah, that's crazy. Only one sack. Two interceptions, one from Tremaine, one from Ronnie Harrison right there on the day. Dave Garner was perfect from the extra point position. There were no punts in this one. And Chase Cole did just fine in the return game. Doesn't have many yards, but he, he gets the job done back there. He does his thing. After the game, Garrett Hayes, he gets himself an upgrade. He got he did very good at cheering on you know his teammates, uh, which earned him a dev, a dev tray upgrade right there. There you go. Calvin Banks, despite allowing a sack in this one, he gets himself a dev tray upgrade as well. You know, he is up to a 96, thanks to the plus 3 to morale and team play and all that fun stuff right there. So 93 power tackle. And Bijan Robinson, he's making himself up to a true 99 overall running back. Now he's a 98 receiving back to go well with the 98 elusive and the 99 power back. There you go, Bijan Robinson, uh, the complete package there at 98 overall. And after this game, Coach, you got the win today, but it didn't seem like your emphasis was creating pressure and that kind of impact, you know, you'd hope. I mean, hey, guess what? At the end of the day, who cares? At the end of the day, who cares? You know why? You want to know why? Who cares? Philadelphia got the win. Winners, oh, winners, winners win. There you go, 1,000 XP for all players, exactly. We got the W. We won. That's all that matters, honestly. It really is all that matters. Uh, so Philadelphia does their thing. They get the big win. Now the hype coming around this game between two MVP candidate quarterbacks. So oh, baby. It drew a lot of views on primetime television. Unfortunately, though, there was only three passing touchdowns the entire game. It was a run fest for Bijan, but... You know, hey, he gets a morale boost, a plus five morale boost for Anthony Richardson. Whoop de doo, he gets. Does he even get up there? What's his? I don't know what his overall is right now, uh, but that can't that can't really do much for him right now, can it? A plus five morale boost, honestly, for a franchise quarterback, that's absolutely insane right there. Can't believe that's all we're getting in this one. Uh, now, coach, your task is facing the Saints this week. The Saints, oh boy. We know we know the Saints. We've played the Saints a handful of times. You know, they uh not side of the playoffs, honestly. Uh they led to Hallie Roseman uh bringing in a all star coaching staff of Frank Reich and John Harbaugh. You know, defense, offense, just get it together honestly. Just make this team the best team you could possibly be. And then how do we gonna stop him? Stop Alvin, not stop. Maxwell Pierce. Stop this quarterback right here. Because he's the one that created the problems for us. Now, offensively, we're going to throw on Marshawn Lattimore. He's not the same Marshawn he was his rookie season. So hopefully we take advantage of that and get ourselves a pretty a pretty good win, a pretty dominant win here in a rematch after they just embarrassed us, honestly, in the playoffs. We couldn't hold on to the ball. Everything led to a fumble. And it was just not a good sight. Not a good sight at all for Philadelphia. And honestly, one of the most embarrassing performances you'd probably ever see in Philadelphia sports history. I mean, really embarrassing. If you guys hadn't watched that episode, uh, don't. Uh, because it was a bad episode, honestly. Uh, we lost against the Saints. But hey, it it burst. It burst this team, uh, which lost week one. But has not lost since, honestly. That's at the end of the day, that is all that matters. You know, sure that was eight episodes ago. Eighty two was that episode where we got embarrassed by the Saints. Doesn't matter though, we're episode ninety and we are ready to rock and roll. We're ready to set everything straight, get the W that we need, move on, move past that embarrassing defeat, and sub uh, you know, get to a position where we get back to the playoffs. 
so we can end up back in the Super Bowl, honestly. Uh, because that's that's uh, that's the main goal right now for Philadelphia. Just get to the Super Bowl, honestly. That's what that's what everyone wants at the end of the day. How many how many rings do you win? How successful is your team in the long run? And all of that fun stuff right there. It just turns out to who can be the best team they can honestly be. Uh, you know what I mean? Like what what, what else what else are we doing here? Where else does this team can go? Where else can this team go honestly? Besides up, you know their only goal now is win Super Bowls. It's not make the playoffs. It's not get above five hundred. It's not anything. Their goal right now is to win as many Super Bowls as possible. And if the Saints are a team that are in at in Philadelphia's way, I'm sorry, Saints, you're gonna have to move and get out of the way. You know, put up or shut up. And this is a game where Philadelphia needs to show that hey, they've moved past that embarrassing loss, and they are ready to. You know, show the NFL that, hey, this team means business. You know, sure, and I do mean sure, uh, Philadelphia has won a Super Bowl before. You know, they won with Nick Foles. They won one with, you know, Tom Brady under center. I mean, it's it's a, it's a good game. It's It's been a good run of Philly quarterbacks right now. And, you know, Anthony Richardson, he just needs to step up, and he needs to... He needs to show that, hey, he is the franchise quarterback. He's going to be the Tom Brady of of this era. He's going to win all the rings. He's going to do all of the things that, you know, Philadelphia has been missing out on for years. A franchise quarterback who just who has the stats, leads his teams to championships, and doesn't care who he's coming up against. There is no such thing as too big of a stage, and Philadelphia needs to start doing that. Take on the Saints right now, though. We are down here in New Orleans. Oh, it's... Come on, red zone alert. We got to score. You know, take advantage of the field position. We need to score. We need to get on the field. Uh, there you go. Come on, Philly. You go up goes 7 nothing. you know, late in this one. Up 14 nothing quickly. Uh, Saints do ride back when it's 7-14. Philadelphia does answer with a 21-14. But Saints quick to answer back. 21-14 in this one. Now cruising through this one, the Saints tied up 21 all before half in the third quarter. Now the Saints take the lead. Go on, Philadelphia, you could do it. We're only down by four points in this one. Saints go up 31-24. Before Philadelphia ties it up 31 apiece. You know, final three minutes in this one. Can Philly, can Philly do it? All we need is a field goal. A field goal can win this one for Philadelphia. We go up by a touchdown. 38-31, final play, and Philadelphia. Comes out victorious in this one. Big victory for the Philadelphia Eagles. As they've kind of exercised their demons from the previous season. Uh, so Philadelphia, 38-31 is the final score in this one. There you go. Big victory here in Week 15 for Philly. As they have yet to lose since that first week of the season. So only thing with one loss. I mean, Philadelphia is also the best team in the league right now. Plain and simple. You know, they are the best team in the league right now. And it is going to be all bets saying Philadelphia is in a prime position uh, to win another ring. You know, Bijan, 68, two touchdowns. A.J. Brown, 88 yards, 48 from CD, 64 from Devontae, 37 from Goddard right there. Uh, Sacks, one, two allowed, one by Mulatto, one by Jarrett Patterson. One pancake by Big Dick. Six tackles led the team. Let's see, tackle for loss. Three sacks from Breezy, one from Hassan, one pick from CJ GJ. Garner this thing, as well as McCain. There are some punt returns, I mean, some kick returns as well. Mostly kick returns, actually, no punt returns. Uh, CD Lamb gets an upgrade after this one. He is now a. Ooh, tough one. Make him a. Scheme fit. Scheme fit on make him, make him a 99 overall. Come on. 99 with the morale boost right there. He's a 91. He's not an overall in theory, but not in actuality. Uh, but let's wrap this episode up here on the channel, YouTube. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Comment down below what you thought of the episode. What do you think of this series? As we are 90 episodes deep in it. But next time, YouTube, though, peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and to catch you on the next episode here on the channel.